I have had this calculator for over 12 years. I have dropped it. It has been my backpack. It has been thrown on the ground and it's a warrior. This is the TI-84 Plus Silver Edition by Texas Instruments. And this is probably the most popular calculator used today. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about what I think about this calculator. And I'm going to explain why it's so popular. It actually has to do with mathematics. There's a mathematical reason that this calculator is so popular. I wanna show you something really cool. And you might think it's gross, but I'm gonna show you anyways, why not? So this is the cover and that stuff in there that you see, that's marker residue. Yeah, marker residue. Basically, it's from my calculator being in a bag with whiteboard markers. And so I guess the markers let off some residue and that's what you get. And maybe I should just touch it, let's just see. Yeah, yeah, wow, it's like solidified, it's like calcified. Oh, wow, 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 it doesn't even come off anymore. Yeah, ridiculous. I should mention before I forget that I will leave a link in the description in case you want to check out this calculator. Also, it does use batteries, four AAA batteries, and the batteries last a super long time. You can also plug in this calculator to a computer so it can be connected with a cable. There's all kinds of connections there. I've never actually done that, but you can do that and you can update the calculator. I once had a student who had video games on his calculator. I thought that was pretty cool too. The reason this calculator is so popular in colleges is really interesting, I think. Basically, when you take a class in college, like calculus, a lot of times it is instructive to see graphs of functions. And it's time-saving to use technology, like a graphing calculator, or there's other ways to show graphs. A lot of people use Desmos and there's other ways as well. And a calculator is a nice device because a student can bring it in and they have it with them and they can actually, you know, type in the graph into their calculator and see it. Also, they can do math anywhere with this. I mean, I guess you can say the same about a laptop and a software program. You can tape your laptop with you. This is just compact. Also, this is extremely heavy duty. I've had this again uh, about 12 years and never had any issues. So why is this particular calculator so popular? Basically, it's because this calculator does not do algebraic manipulations. This is the TI-84 Plus Silver Edition. So if you want something that does algebraic manipulations, there's other models you can get, and I'll leave links in the description. For example, the TI-89, the Inspire, they even have some that have color monitors. Those are all really nice, and the price difference between one of those and this, I mean, there is a price difference, but I don't think it's like enormous. I, I don't know what the prices are because I haven't looked, but I'm pretty sure that last time I checked, like the price difference between this one and like a TI-89 or an Inspire, there's a difference, but it's not, they're not like triple or anything like that. And you get a lot more because you can do calculus on them. They take derivatives, they do integrals. This will not do that. This will do numeric derivatives and numeric integrals, but it won't do those algebraic computations. And that's, that's the reason that this is so popular because teachers, okay, they don't want students to plug in everything into their calculators and get the answers. And my philosophy has always been a little bit different. I always allowed all of my students to use any calculator, even the 89, even the Inspire, with one thing that they had to do, and that was they actually have to show work on the test. So I think it's better. When I took Calculus 2, I used the TI-89, and that did integrals, and that did derivatives, and I was able to take the test and then actually check most of my answers. I'd finish the test really quick, which means I had to study, right? So if I'm gonna check my answers, that takes time, that takes test time. So, you know, I really studied, I really learned everything, and then I'd check my answers and then walk out. So sometimes the calculator gives funny answers, like, you know, you can tell, um, you know, when you're grading tests, if like the person used a TI-89 sometimes, it's really, really obvious. They'll get a weird answer that, I always call them non-human answers. 
And in any case, the reason this is so popular is because the majority of teachers, or at least a lot of teachers, don't allow students to use the 89 or the Inspire, but they do allow this one because it's powerful, but it's not super powerful. It's not gonna actually do all of those, um, you know, calculus algebra operations, right? They don't have a, this doesn't have a computer algebra system. It's called the CAS. I'm pretty sure this doesn't have one. So yeah, so that's the reason this is so popular. And it's kind of a weird reason. Basically it's popular because teachers allow it, right? And I guess that makes sense because usually if you're taking a class in college, whether it be a math class or a science class, a lot of times there's like supplies you need to have. Like if you're taking a lab class, you know, maybe there's like a lab fee so this is one of those expenses. It is expensive. Uh, TI makes other models that are less expensive. I'll try to leave links to all of these in the description. Um, the TI 30s, those are really inexpensive and they're great. If you're just taking like an algebra class and maybe a stats class, I always tell people to get those instead, but maybe I'll do a video on one of those at some point. But yeah, great calculator. This thing is a warrior. I have had this for 12 years. Someone actually requested this video a few days ago. Someone left a comment and they said, hey, can you make a video on calculators? And I thought that's really interesting because I love my calculator and I've never talked about it. I never have. And I love this thing. This, by the way, is next to me always. I have this next to me all day. If I'm at the computer, my calculator is next to me. I know that sounds weird and, and ridiculous, but it's true. Um, this thing is always with me and I've had it for 12 years. It's a beast. I used to have a T89, by the way, and it broke because it got wet, so don't get it wet. That's that's a big thing, don't get it wet. If you get it wet, it might break. I just realized that I didn't actually show you how to use the calculator in this video, so let me just briefly show you one cool thing that this calculator can do. So first, let's go ahead and turn the calculator on. You just press on, and then to get to the graphing screen, you press Y equals. This is where you type in functions that you want to graph. Let's be really simple, let's graph the line Y equals X. So you press this variable key, notice how it has different symbols, that depends on the mode you're in. So we're just in regular rectangular uh, coordinates mode. So I'm just gonna press X. And so you see, you see X. So if you were in another mode, you might get theta or you might get T, for example, in parametric mode. All right, let's hit graph. And that's the graph of the line Y equals X. Okay, so let's find the area under the curve. To do that, we're gonna use the calc menu. So calc is a blue key. So you have to hit second first. So second, trace. That access is calc, and then let's go down to the integral symbol. Just press enter. You can also hit seven to get there more quickly. Lower limit, so let's say the lower limit of integration is zero. Just press zero and then hit enter. And then let's say the upper limit is two. So two, and I'm gonna hit enter. And then you see it shades in the area under the curve. And so the area under the curve of the graph y equals x from zero to two is equal to two. So that's the area of the triangle you see there in the picture. To exit this, you just hit clear and you're back to the original screen. To turn it off, you have to hit uh, the on key, but it's blue, so you hit second first. So it just takes some practice and um, you do get used to it. Whoops. You do get used to it. And yeah, it's a great calculator. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Good luck.